the High Tech Lab here. I wanted to show you guys uh, what I'm doing for my off the grid uh, water supply. This here is a 540 foot deep uh, well. It has a three horsepower pump in it. I've kind of talked about this in another video, um, but this is giving me about 16 gallons a minute. I'm powering it with my uh, Wacker Newson towable generator on a trailer. So if you take a look, and bear with me if it's kind of hard to hear. This right now is pulling about 15 amps on a three horsepower motor. This is at 240 volts as you can see. And that comes through this 60 amp breaker to this 50 amp breaker to this 50 amp cord and plug, which then comes up here and is connected to this other cord, which then runs into this box which has a cover and as you can see that cord or grounded and we go straight onto the load side of the contacts which power the well now I'm not using that contactor because I don't have a pressure switch it's just open on the end let me go ahead and put this back on let's get that all buttoned up and then it comes out I believe this is inch and a quarter right here yeah inch and a quarter it goes through a union, then a check valve, and then a 45, and then is um, enlarged to two inch, or it then goes through this green hose that's a two inch, which we got from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. Now I will say this isn't the best hose because it, uh, if you leave it in the sun, it'll actually flatten out as you can see. So this pumps into a 325 gallon tank from Tractor Supply. This goes in the bed of the pickup, and it's notched out for the uh, fender wells. So uh, this fills up. It takes uh, at 16 gallons a minute, if you figure 320 gallons, is about 20 minutes to fill. And then we go through these gates over here that I built. You can see the, the gates if I zoom in. And we go up the driveway, up to the top of the hill. So as you can see up here, this up here is where we're going. So to the top of the hill. Here are the some of the chips. This is some of the pea gravel from the well. And this over here is all the material that came out of the well. So they drilled the well um, 200 and, about 230 feet and finished it with a PVC casing. However, that PVC casing allowed too much uh, dirt and stuff like that in. So then they went and drilled out the whole PVC casing and drilled down to 540 feet. And when they blew the well uh, with compressed air, they had 120 PSI of compressed air going down the well. They were uh, blasting out from 540 feet down 80 gallons a minute uh, of water. And you can actually, if you look at the card in the top right corner, you can see where we were actually uh, getting that 80 gallons a minute and timing it and whatnot. So yeah, these are all the chips that came out. It was mud rotary. There's some really interesting looking things. I mean, this almost looks, I don't know the, the dirt and stuff, but this almost looks like coal to me. It's pretty cool stuff. And then we had a lot of sand. This is all sand. It's, uh, that, that right there is all the plastic stuff from the, um, the previous casing and then more pea gravel from before. And then this over here is all the uh, mud that they used to drill the well so it was mud drilled and then they dumped it here this is uh this is about six months uh, about four months uh since they drilled it but it's still quite quite squishy as you can see you know if you step on it it'll smush in and some animal right here you can see tried going in but anyway i'm going to show you guys at the top of the hill what i got going on for those of you wondering on the startup draw of this well, I'm going to turn on this breaker right now and you can watch. About 40 amps on startup. And you can see the small bit of smoke come out on startup. So anyway, I'm going up the hill. I'll be back.
So here we are top of the hill. I have this PVC pipe with a ball valve going to this hose, this white one, which I wind up in this old server rack. That comes out here and goes to this uh, T. That T then goes through this ball valve around this hose into this sprinkler pump. This is from Tractor Supply. Uh, you can look at the main plate right here. And then that comes out of this blue hose right here and comes around up and over and through and that goes to here and this is closed this then comes up through two filters these are one micron filters uh, i believe i have one up here so here is the uh, model on the filter uh, my bad, 5 micron filter, not 1 micron, my bad. And then that goes through to the tank. Now the reason you see two pumps here, this is coming from tank down here. And uh, when I have this pump right now, it's sucking from the tank. But I'm going to go ahead and grab this, this wand, I guess you could call it. And I'm going to come to the back of the truck and untangle this and stick this in the back of the truck have this in and now I'm gonna stick it right in here now this is sloped downhill so it's coming down like this so this is the low side and then I open that ball valve so now I can come over here to this end um, where it comes to this pump and I can close this valve that goes to uh, sucking from the main tank and now this uh, pump is pulling the water from here so now it's coming like this over and down instead of like this over and down so then this pump right here is what gives pressure for our uh, our actual uh, water usage so this is uh, uh, not pumping right now because I don't want to put the wear and tear on the one that's only meant for uh, cyclic use so the, the water right now is coming in here and going up and to the tank I'm gonna show you the tank right now Water tank is right here. I have some cinder blocks stacked up because in summertime it can get kind of hot in the tank and nothing like having hot water from a black tank, you know, in summertime when you're trying to cool off. So that water comes through this pipe over through here. And I don't know if you can see it's emptying into the tank. Here is the inside of the tank. Echo! And you can see it's found almost full we're about 2100 gallons or so uh actually about 1900 gallons my bad and then you can see there's just down there a two inch to one inch 90 and uh that's that's about it for the pumping so this pump you can see is plugged into this extension cord but normally i have power right over here where this box is but that's not connected back in and that extension cord is just kind of temporary because that runs over here and we're actually powering this pump with the off-grid setup so if you haven't seen the off-grid setup yet you can check it out i'm going to put a card in the top right hand corner you can click on it so we're going to come in here and here we have our washer and dryers and then this half of the room 20 feet in is the power supply for that pump so here i have you know my electrical stuff my inverter which currently is at let's see 21 percent load this is a 12,000 watt inverter and we get power through these outback flex maxes from the sun so yeah go ahead click the card if you want more information on this room we're at 50 volts right now so plenty of power so far 16 8d batteries i got eight more i need to hook up eight more that need to go on the rack two right there but anyway that's about it. This has been, you know, off-grid water pumping, trying to get, you know, set up. It's 1,600 feet across this hill and down the hill to that well in the meadow, plus an additional 540 feet of head uh, in the well pump. So it's a total of about 640, 650 feet of head that that uh, pump needs to, to overcome, uh, which equates to about 200 and some odd PSI 
uh, that it needs to overcome to get the water up here. So, anywho, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Other than that, this has been High Tech Lab. You guys have a nice day. Bye-bye. Have this in. And now I'm going to stick it right.